Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 4th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have going on for you this week. Uh, you start off with the Eight of Clubs. Um, so this week, this is a card of, you know, I always call it the card of taking the road less traveled. So any opportunities you have, you know, do something that is hard, as I say, or do something that is different uh, with this card. Uh, this card is called the mountain. So definitely represents climbing a mountain, which is Capricorn. So that could make up a lot, you know, that could be a lot of things. Uh, but, you know, this card does represent having a desire to overcome obstacles. Um, people seem to be, you know, there have been like a bunch of cards just thinking back to all the readings I've done so far for this week. There seems to be a kind of energy of wanting to overcome things. So in a lot of ways, you might be doing that. And um, yeah, I mean, this can be a good card as well, because again, it says you are finding solutions to things that you want to overcome. It can also just be a card of business, being you know, working really hard, or uh, it can be a card of marketing yourself as well. Uh, one other sign, I can't remember who, it might have been Taurus, had a message of needing to really sell themselves, needing to kind of like put themselves out there. So I would say the truth, you know, that's probably true for you as well. Uh, next, you have the Nine of Diamonds. It's a card, uh, a bunch of people have been getting nines. I've never seen so many nines in my life doing these weekly readings. So, uh, you know, a bunch of nines this week, which represents newness, represents new changes, and, uh, you know, kind of having new opportunities come up in our lives at this time. So, like I said, almost every single sign has had at least one nine. Most have had multiple. And, uh, yeah, so it's really interesting. This card can represent profits and uh, more money coming in for sure. And it can also represent, you know, kind of other people. It can represent, like, support from other people who also want want to see you succeed at this time. So uh, that's very exciting, but it is a good card of like transformation and transforming past obstacles. Next, you have the Jack of Diamonds. Uh, Jack of Diamonds can represent kind of enthusiasm and wanting to uh, work very hard for the future and wanting to become more successful. It is you showing up here. This is, you know, Capricorn or an Earth sign person uh, showing up. So it puts you in a very strong position. Um, but it can also represent ending something, uh, you know. So you could be making a very swift uh, kind of like change this week where it's like you leave one thing and you move on to the next thing, uh, whatever it is. It could be something you're working on. It could be a relationship, a business. Who knows? But it could represent a very strong kind of like swift change in your life and uh, I would say for the better to me this is a card of improvements and kind of coming up with some other idea because you know some card reading systems refer to this card as like being touched by gold you know being touched by basically money it says everything you touch turns to gold so uh, there could be some great success this week next you have the seven of hearts a uh, card of the family and a card of like going back to your roots. It's uh, sometimes called the tree, this card. So it can represent, you know, um, you know, number one, it can represent great strength and stability, but it can also just represent going back to family. Uh, and there has been a very strong focus on family this week uh, for whatever reason. And it can represent, so it can represent family, but it can also just represent you uh, setting down new roots. Maybe you're moving to a new location um, or you're kind of going to a new place. It's also a great card for health uh, and, you know, kind of like seeing improvements in your health as well. Next, you have the Ten of Hearts, uh, a great card of loyalty. And, you know, mostly I always say this is a card of like fortune after difficulty, you know, kind of seeing improvements after a difficult period of time. Um, but for you, I feel like it's saying people are going to be really loyal to you. Again, you've had a lot of car cards here of like support and people uh, wanting to support you this week. So again, you might notice how people are trying to support you this week or how they want to help you in some way. It's also a great card for health as well. So, uh, you know, there could be a focus on your health. Again, I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice, but if you do need to see a doctor, I would definitely encourage you to do that this week. You just have too many, uh, you have a lot of cards here about health. So again, if you do need to see a doctor, go for sure. Uh, I don't want to scare anybody, but you know, definitely these cards say definitely get things taken care of. Um, but again, it is a positive card. It represents fortune after difficulty. It's also a very grounding card and kind of like a card of just uh, feeling really good. And finally, of course, three of diamonds. A bunch of people have had this card this week as well. Uh, this card just is a card of problems with paperwork. It just says double check all your paperwork so that there aren't any problems. Uh, not a bad card, just simply a warning card that again just says double check your paperwork so you don't have any problems or so you don't miss something in some way. Um, and uh, it can represent problems with money or some sort of uh, legal matter with money or some sort of like authority matter with money. So just try to stay on top of those things as well. But uh, even at that, like I said, it looks like a really good week, a lot of good stuff coming in for you. Uh, for sure. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.